Welcome back everybody. Um, if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, we're back in the garden and it's been about three days after rototilling now. So we're just going to go through it quick and show you some problem areas that I'm really concerned about and we're going to have to figure out. Above you is the drone that's flying. What I'm going to do is we're going to zoom in here high up there and we're gonna zoom down on the ground. Hopefully this can show up. So right where I'm standing here is really good conditions and you can even see it right from the air that it's very fine. Now I'll pick some up and just drop it. You really can't see it drop that well but it's fine soil and that's what our garden really likes. likes uh, to grow in and I found the bait the best luck, but if we fly a little bit all further You're gonna see the soil change. So I'm gonna fly the drone ahead now And you can start seeing it in the center of your screen now how Lumpy it got All of a sudden and you can see if I zoom out You can actually see how it looks like a triangle. So I'll just I'll walk the outline of it quick so you can quickly see it more better. And this is all to my right. So all to my right here you can see how it's lumpy. And you can see how it kind of goes up like a triangle. Now this was extremely wet conditions here when I was rototilling to the point where I was even plugging it. So I'm going to have to figure out something to do here, something different, or something that's going to work in this area. So I have two options. I can bring back the rototiller in and, and try to re-break up these lumps, or I can try to just go with the flow. Now, right here will work out okay. I'll be able to utilize this area here and probably put potatoes in, which means we're gonna change up our blueprint, which is not a big deal, but it's something to take into consideration. But here, where it's a bad stretch, approximately 10 feet, we're gonna have to figure out something a little different. Um, more than likely, I'll probably put some peas in this area I haven't quite decided and that should work out because I know peas can push through quite a bit of tougher soil so when you're playing around you got to be really careful and figure out exactly what you want to do in the garden um, I did want to rototill I did intentionally do this on purpose but I did it in purpose to mix in all the the compost that I had laying on top and the organic matter so Keep that in mind if you're gardening. If you got a lot of organic matter, you're gonna have to figure out ways to flip it and turn it. So, this soil here is very lumpy. And it's very hard to the touch. Where if you take a few steps back, It is very dry. So keep that in mind when gardening, what soil types you have. It plays a very big role. Thanks for joining us while I figure out what to do.